Okay, good morning. Welcome to the second day of our conference. I hope you enjoyed the evening as much as I did. Um, I'm, I'm going to uh, kick off this day with my own presentation. It's about the community aspects of Semantic Media Wiki. We also did a short s survey. I'm going to present some, some details, not, not too many. Uh, but there are some aspects I want to discuss. My name is uh, Bernard Grabina. I'm managing partner of Knowledge Management Associates, and I've been in the Semantic Media Wiki community, uh, I think, since a very long time. I started with Semantic Media Wiki 0 0.9. So, uh, yeah, quite early as a user, by the way, as a user. Now I am a uh, Wiki consultant and implementer. Um, so that changed over time as well. And uh, I'd like to really um, tell you that my opinion is that we have, to, um, we have to improve our collaboration on Semantic Media Wiki. Uh, we have to uh, up our game because of many different reasons. And some of those reasons I want to uh, share my thoughts with you today. Okay, so let's uh, look a little bit back, uh, not as, as much back as, as uh, Marcus did yesterday, but uh, a little bit uh, to try to explain what are the current challenges that we are facing. Uh, then I will uh, give a, a brief uh, overview of the user survey, and then I want to suggest how, we, well, how I think and I hope we can move forward. Um, well, most of us in this room know it, but not everybody knows it. Um, the one challenge we have been facing already is uh, that recording there was in a, progress. Oh, um, one challenge that we are facing is that um, one of the main developers of Semantic Media Wiki has left the project. Uh, M. W. James. You can see the over, overall commits to Semantic Media Wiki. You can see that on, on GitHub. And M.W. James, or James Hong Kong, as he called himself sometimes, he just um, came into the project around 2013. I remember Markus Kretsch uh, telling me, yeah, there's this guy and nobody knows, but he's, he's providing these great pull <laughs> requests and it's really hard to merge all, all in that he's doing. So he, he really just came uh, out from nowhere. Nobody has ever met him in person. We don't know who this person actually is or was. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, you can really see here, you know, um, the main commits that he did w w were, were the main commits in the repository. It, it didn't start out like this. So we are spoiled. We are a spoiled community. Why? Because he did all the work. Um, he, he spent basically his Friday evenings, Saturdays and half of, of Sundays uh, developing Semantic Media Wiki. He took over the maintenance and the, and the uh, integration and all that. Uh, the fun story I, I like to tell is um, I was once asked if I c can provide a beacon file. I don't know if you have ever heard of a beacon file. It's, it's uh, uh, a small text file where you have this German National Library IDs and that match to your wiki and uh, it's, it's big in the library scene. And I was able to do that with some of, uh, kind of a hack. And I wrote to the, uh, I documented my hack on semanticmediawiki.org. And two weeks later, MW James implemented the template file format. So I didn't even ask for it. I didn't even raise an issue. I just documented what I did. And he was not happy with the way I did it because it was kind of a hack. So he, he just implemented things. So we are a spoiled community. And we didn't have to do it ourselves. but. For, for whatever reason, this, this stopped in uh, September 2019. And since then, well, we have been continuing. I mean, Semantic Media Wiki is still working uh, with all, all the uh, versions. But we have to up our game, I guess, um, because a new MW James will not come around so easily. So, and the question, I think, is, Oh, I have to see. recording. Yes. Yeah. The question is, is it the battle of SMW against Wikibase or maybe against Cargo? I don't think so. It's just a matter of choice. 
I personally though not so much interested in going the cargo route. I, I believe in semantic web standards and RDF and things like that. Wikibase, uh, we talked about uh, a little bit uh, yesterday. I be, uh, th there, there can be some use cases where you would want to use Wikibase as an extension, so you would have the same interface like Wikidata does, but I think these are more edge use cases. Uh, in in, in uh, the usual uh, use cases, uh, many, uh, many of the usual use cases can be uh, handled better with Semantic Media Wiki. So personally, I'm, I'm going to stay with Semantic Media Wiki, and I don't think this is the real battle, right? We are all on the Media Wiki platform. And uh, a lot of companies, many of, the, of, uh, of us are in this room. They are more or less using or integrating Semantic Media Wiki in their products, in their solutions. Some maybe have moved uh, to, to something else. But uh, we cannot rely on anyone else to do the, uh, the, the coding and maintaining uh, of the code base. So we have to up our game because uh, we are not competitors here, in my opinion. We are collaborators. I'm not a competitor of Gesin IT or of uh, Hallo Welt or of uh, you know, uh, RGXL or all those companies here. We are collaborators. We are using the same software, and we need to make sure that the same software that we are offering to our clients and we are using in our projects will be maintained and will be uh, still the best software that is available. So uh, we need to collaborate more on this. And this is starting to happening. It's probably progressing um, uh, a little bit slowly, uh, but I think uh, it is picking up. Because if we zoom out, what is the bigger picture, right? Um, if we zoom out, this is the, this is the challenge. Uh, organizations are using Confluence as a, a wiki solution, and I'm a user of Confluence. I know it has some strengths. It also has some weaknesses. So we have some, uh, some real benefits when we're using Semantic Media Wiki over Confluence, but it's, it, there are also drawbacks. So this is the, the real battle that is happening in, in organizational settings. Uh, I don't want to go into the uh, Microsoft direction, right? Uh, SharePoint, or uh, I, I, I just had a project. Uh, I'm actually in the, in the middle of a project where people are used to use Microsoft OneNote, and now they want to migrate to Wiki. So that's a, that's a different uh, topic uh, uh, in itself. So Microsoft has, uh, uh, is the competitor. Now the, the challenge is, uh, will wikis ever be used in uh, some years from now, or will large language models solve all, all our problems? Will AI solve all our problems, or will there still be a market for, for, for wikis or an, and for media wiki powered solutions at all? So that's the real battle. And even if, if we look at, at wikis, there are, there are nice open source wikis out there, right? Uh, XWiki is Java based, that's why companies like it a lot. Foss Wiki, I've come around. Wiki.js is a, a, a new built wiki engine. Drupal Wiki, a wiki made with Drupal. I don't know. There are several still. So there's a battle here. Uh, and there is also a battle here. If, if you talk about you know, this new knowledge graph, uh, RDF topics, there are solutions out there. So this is the real battle that Semantic Media Wiki has to face. And we, we can only face those battles if we, if we collaborate. Because it's not, it's not uh, our. We, we are not exchanging our clients. The, the clients will not move from from uh, from KMA to to you or the other way around. They will move to one of those solutions if if we don't uh, Im, uh, improve what we have. Okay, so let's look uh, a little bit uh, uh, at the user survey because we did that two years ago and uh, I wanted to update it. So. Uh, the location, we had 52 uh, respondents. I had to uh, cut some out that were not uh, giving full answers. So, of course, Semantic Media Wiki, as we know, is very strong in Europe, uh, also in North America, Asia, interestingly. So if anybody from Asia is watching this uh, recording, maybe, and wants to have a SMW con in Asia, I would be game, but uh, <laughs> we would have to have some local chair organizing it there. Yeah? So that would be interesting. Uh, yeah, 39 users, 15 uh, say we are also a consulting or hosting partner, we are developers or someone just interested in the, in the topic. Um, 
The good news also is that the community is still, we are still onboarding new members. Uh, I also experienced this uh, when you look at the, at the mailing list. There are people not only asking questions in the mailing list, but answering those questions that I've never met. I don't know who they are. They just seem to be knowledgeable about, about Semantic Media Week and they are answering requests from users on the mailing list. So that's, that's good news. Um, and so uh, also uh, in, since 2019, 20, there are still users uh, coming in, and, and you can also see that in the in the downloads and, and, and in all in other areas. So that's the good news. Yeah, we also asked what MediaWiki versions are you uh, using. Uh, yeah, most I guess are sticking to the long-term support versions. That's not not a, a surprise. Also, we asked. Uh, I'm gonna be fast on this one because you can read this up now. I'm, I'm gonna upload the slides in a, in a minute to <coughs> semanticmediawiki.org. Uh, semantic Media Wiki versions, yeah, most use 4.1x or even the latest master. There are st still some older uh, versions around. And 60% uh, use the built in storage engine, 31% uh, 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 use Elasticsearch for Semantic Media Wiki, and around 9% use the, some kind of, of triple store. Um, also, what is in the survey, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to uh, into any detail, is the question what, what features of Semantic Wiki do you use? And the other question is how important do you think are, those features are? So you can, uh, you can read in, into this later. Um, <coughs> there, there were two aspects, uh, what is the usage and how important is some kind of feature. And also we did that for extension usage. I also don't want to go into details here. It's just amazing uh, the amount of extensions. Some of them are even outdated, but the amount of extensions that were created in this semantic media wiki uh, ecosystem is just amazing and it shows the potential. Um, so yeah, the usage and also the uh, importance, you can look this up. There is no real big surprises, I guess, for people who are knowledgeable about, uh, about those uh, extensions. Um, so this was, uh, uh, this is uh, in the survey. Also, we, we were asking what is Semantic Media Week lacking, and there were some interesting um, results there. Yeah, stability performance, uh, twice mentions uh, some kind of query editor integration into visual editor for for uh, querying or, or also annotating, proper support stable releases, developers, capture imprecise, imprecise dates, a templating engine, ways to store data without wiki text via JSON, more data types, property inheritance, better integration between properties and categories, better written guides, more documentation, easy combining inline query, easy filtering, results in easy data visualization tool, Paging of big data sets with templates and playlist format, quicker data actualization on big data sets, so similar. Split results formats in retrieval and the visualization part. That's an interesting uh, idea, I think. Better control of local languages. This came from someone in Asia. Uh, form editor, multi-page edit. So there are still um, things that we are lacking. Uh, I also agree with the with the uh, with the opinion that some have that. Uh, it is feature bloated uh, even, so we don't necessarily need new features on top of it, but some of, of those are not really new features, but might be improvements of existing features. So um, there, is, uh, there is a lot of uh, ideas around what, what ca can be done. We also asked, 16 said we would be willing to donate time and or money. Uh, 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 developer resources, 16 said, yeah, we, five said we would pay for Semantic Media Wiki. We, you cannot pay for it. Yeah? Uh, and 14 said uh, we would be willing and able to donate money. Okay, so with this, how, how can we move on? Well, um, the first thing is uh, what every one of us can do is uh, quite simple. You can join our uh, uh, communication channels. If you're a developer, you might want to join us on, on GitHub. There are also mailing lists. There's the element. Uh, there are also social, social media channels. By the way, if anyone is on, on Mastodon, we are on Mastodon now also. Um, and you can do all sorts of things. You can answer questions of others. 
You can help us with bugs and with coding. If you can code, you can improve the documentation. If you, if you think it's not good enough, please, nobody else is doing it. So you, you have to help us. You can th uh, do things like re revive the idea of having a wiki of the month as a showcase and you can uh, spread the world. Of course, you're invited also to join the MediaWiki stakeholders group. I'm also a member of there that the stakeholders group uh, tries to, to voice uh, the uh, arguments for MediaWiki usage outside of the uh, Wikimedia ecosystem. So uh, an important aspect. Okay, uh, what else can you do? Um, just uh, before the summer, I think in June, I, I started implementing an idea that I had uh, that is a sponsor sponsoring program for Semantic Media Wiki. How does it work? Um, the idea was there are companies around that devote already time for uh, development, for uh, extensions that are on the SMW repository. There are several of, them, uh, of those. And we should make visible who, who they are, right? So you can, you, you can become a copper sponsor if one of your developers only spends an hour a week on some kind of uh, work on a semantic media wiki repository. And we, I tried to scale this to some, something. And, and, and I also tried to translate it uh, roughly into you know, what a PHP developer might cost, whatever. And we have, we have the first three sponsors here. So I wanted to make visible what is, al what is already been done. I would really love to have more sponsors here because uh, that would mean that more are really joining in, uh, in into this. Uh, just to give an, an example, uh, Wikibase Netherlands, Wikibase Solutions just uh, uh, did some commits regarding improvement of Elasticsearch. So that would certainly qualify for a sponsorship. And, you, and there's just a, a self sign up. You, you just sign up uh, and you say, I'm, I'm sponsoring something. Um, it, it can be some hours per week. You can, it, it should be on a monthly basis, right? Um, and if you say we are busy now for the next three months because of many customer requests, you can take down the, the uh, sponsoring logo again just by deactivating it. And when you're back, you can just activate it. So it's, it's on MediaWiki.org. You can just do it yourself. I invite you to do that. It's just making visible what you're doing. You're, do, you're doing great things. Yeah, make it visible. So that's, uh, that's one thing you can do. One technical question, I don't know how, how to solve this. Maybe we can automate this because we also have these logos on, on the GitHub page, but I have to do that manually. So that would be nice if we had on, on GitHub some kind of API uh, query to semanticmediawiki.org, show us the sponsors and display it there. So that would be something you could actually count towards your sponsorship if you can implement that. Okay, and the next thing is, um, uh, yeah, but what, what with those organizations, users maybe, that cannot donate time because they are so busy, because they don't have uh, any developers or, or, or other people that can help out, well, uh, where, where can they donate money? I talked to the OSDA, uh, that is the uh, German association, Markus Kretsch is here, I think he's the uh, founder and, and president. Are you the? Yeah. yeah. Um, so basically, OSDA is, uh, um, the main goal is sponsoring events like this. Yeah? Um, I also talked to the MediaWiki stakeholders group, um, but uh, the solution that I'm now proposing is something else. Um, it is this open collective. So there is a website online, uh, open collective, and there's a U European branch, so it's a, a company, uh, 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 under the European law, an NGO, and here you can, we can collect uh, money. And so you can start now by just donating something. You can donate 50 euros or 10 euros, or you can say I'm going to donate uh, 250 euros per month or, or whatever, and that money will be collected and it can then be spent, and this is all transparent there. They have uh, their things set up how this works. They are there are uh, administrators. I don't intend to be an, an, an uh, administrator for this forever, but currently I am. Uh, Cindy is and Jeroen is. 
So if anybody is interested in, you know, uh, the, the basic function of an, administra uh, of, of an administrator is if somebody says, I uh, did a job uh, and I want to get money for, for that, um, then the administrator has to say yes and there can be a payout to a, a developer. It can be an individual developer, it can be a company that does something. So I try to set this up because this is made for uh, collecting donations and money for open source projects and there is a, a, a platform that can collect the money and we would have to, as a community, talk about how are we going to spend the money on what would be the best things um, that need to be done for Semantic Media Wiki, development-wise or otherwise, it could be marketing material or whatever. Um, yeah, so this is, uh, what is what is new and I, I hope that we will be able to, to get some funding uh, from organizations, private persons who say, Semantic Media Week is great, I want to donate 100 euros, I want to donate whatever. Uh, this is now possible for the first time. So uh, next thing is we need to make sure that money comes in and then we can talk as a community how are we going to best spend the money. Um, so you feel free to donate and let's work together on making Semantic Media Wiki, uh, keeping it the great software that it is and even improving it. So I'm really looking forward to, to your ideas and during the breaks today we, we can discuss uh, how we're gonna set up this, this funding thing. Uh, please, if you have developer resources and you're doing something already, please self-assign you a sponsorship. It's easy uh, and I'm really happy to answer your questions. So well, thank you. <laughs> Any questions here? Yes, Eric. <clears throat> so thank you, Bernard. So could you explain how the Open Collective relates to your to our uh, seeking for members? So how does the Open Collective relate to memberships? Would you like people first to become a member and then go to oh. the Open Collective as well, or oh. the other way around? Oh, uh, you mean membership for MediaWiki Stakeholders Group? Yes. Um, the Open Collective is not related to the MediaWiki Stakeholders Group. So it's not something that has in, in any way combined with the MediaWiki Stakeholders Group. So uh, Open Collective, uh, the question really was, would the MediaWiki Stakeholders Group be an organization that could collect money for Semantic MediaWiki and then also give it out like what Open Collective does? But we didn't really come to a con conclusion and, you know, you, you, you could also argue, well, there's the great chameleon skin, you know, why don't we donate money to the development of that? Or there's cargo, why don't we collect money for that? So where is the start and the end point of that for the MediaWeek stakeholders group? So um, I just uh, decided that it's a, it's a better idea to have this uh, at this open collective Europe. Um, because they have everything in place, the payment in place, the payout procedures in place. There are a, a legal entity in Europe that makes it easier. Uh, you, you actually get an invoice so that if, if you're a, a, a company and, and you want to have a, a receipt for your donation, then you automatically get an invoice. So it's not uh, related to MediaWeek Stakeholders Group currently. Um, it is an online service, basically, that you can use. I said, that's no good, what are you doing there? This is not really an improvement, where, where are you going? A conference was not semantic and looks like it's PHP based. And somebody told me it's a one person show, like we've been for many years. So this is not the route. Personally, I think we need to make sure that we get a balance between um, being based on the media wiki world, which is PHP based, and where we have the Wikimedia Foundation, which is a great thing to do, uh, but on the other hand, making ourselves as platform independent as possible, which you've seen, I've, I've been trying to move that direction. It's like, hey, let's do tools that are not necessarily 
onto a certain technology. Um, another discussion is, uh, will we have different <coughs> query options? Like we've got the ask query at this time, which is not non-standard, which makes it really hard to learn these things. And um, when we have the discussion, okay, why well, don't use Sparkle? People tell you, okay, you can use Sparkle. And as you've seen two years ago, um, the statistics show you only a very small percentage of our users actually use that. So um, one way out of that might be named queries. And we say, okay, let's hide the details of the queries and only make available the interface and make sure um, that, that you don't really have to care about that, especially for queries that we supply. Um, we, we really don't, like we, we don't have standard queries that we make available for people that do standard stuff. Um, they have, have to do things all over again, just if they want to do simple things like counting or they, they want aggregation or something. Um, that's all too complicated for us. And, and there are lots of things we can do um, if we really find um, a focus on these things. I think that's the hardest part of me, and the hardest part of it. Like, you sum up uh, the, the, the user's needs, which I think is a great start, uh, and from there, the next step is the hard part, deciding. Yeah. To make all these decisions about where does the money go, what do we do, and, and this is going to be what needs to be organized. Yes, I agree. Okay. <laughs> so, thank you. Yeah, I have to. Can I